this is, is going to be a terrific case. This is what I love when you see a whole bunch of things and you use little algorithms to quickly identify what you're at. This movie is called Muscle. There are three kinds of muscle histologically. There is muscle without striations, so that's called smooth muscle. There are two types of muscle with striations, and if the fibers are arranged parallel, they're, that's called skeletal or voluntary strided muscle. If the strided muscle has fibers which inter uh, connect with each other as a mesh that's called cardiac muscle. In this field we have all three kinds of muscle. Let's go to the first one on the left and let's zoom it up a little bit and you could uh, quickly see, I hope, that these fibers here are clearly striated. In addition they are arranged very longitudinally like logs uh, on a neatly stacked fireplace. In addition, you can see that the nuclei are all out at the periphery. So this is classical voluntary skeletal striated muscle. Technically, if you cut one of these nuclei tangentially uh, with respect to the uh, fiber, it might look like it was in the middle of the fiber. But in reality, that's just a geometric artifact. In true voluntary skeletal strided muscle, the nuclei are all at the periphery. You could identify the striations better from doing longitudinal cuts with respect to the axis of the fiber. You could identify where the nuclei are better by doing cross or axial sections with respect to it. This is classical striated uh, skeletal muscle. Let's move on to the next piece of tissue. Here are muscle fibers in which you can clearly see there are no striations. And in addition, the nuclei are kind of like cigar shaped. If you cut them longitudinally, they look a little bit like bent cigars. If you happen to cut them more transversely, like you see here, they look round. So once again, it's a geometric phenomenon. Uh, if you are looking at smooth muscle fibers which have been cut transverse to their longitudinal axis, they'll look like they're round. If you cut them longitudinal to their longitudinal axis, they will look like little cigars or very, very spindly. Quite frankly, you could have a very hard time differentiating this from uh, a connective tissue, perhaps dense, regular, or irregular connective tissue. But if you did a trichrome stain, the cytoplasm uh, of the fibroblast and the collagen fiber stain very clearly blue or greenish blue uh, with a trichrome stain, whereas smooth muscle would not pick up the greenish at all. Let's keep on moving away now from these nice uh, smooth muscle fibers and go on to our third type of uh, muscle, uh, which we are going to be seeing very, very soon, I hope. And sure, we have just landed uh, on the uh, coast here, and we can start to see some muscle fibers now, in which uh, I think you will um, admit it's a little bit more difficult to see the striations on this. Um, perhaps I could convince you very soon that, oh, let's go to a different area. Maybe we'll see some striations better. Perhaps I could convince you that if you look very closely like here or perhaps here or, oh, let's go to another place. If you can't see it good, just take a quick visit to another place. If you look uh, perhaps here, hopefully, I can convince you that these are striations also. But two things separate this from skeletal voluntary strided muscle. Whereas I think I could convince you that maybe there are some striations. The nuclei are clearly within the center of the fiber, like here, like here, like here, like here, like practically everywhere. And in addition, 
the fibers are not stacked up nicely like logs on a fireplace. They branch. And thirdly, you will have an abundance of areas in which you could see little lines in the middle of uh, two connecting fibers, like perhaps here, like certainly here, like certainly here. And these are your intercalated discs. So cardiac muscle is also striated, not nicely striated as skeletal muscle, but it has the nuclei in the middle of the fiber. It has intercalated discs. The fibers branch to connect with adjacent fibers because the method of contraction is not linear. It's in multiple dimensions. And last but not least, the fiber is not quite as thick as the uh, skeletal muscle voluntary striated fiber. They're a little bit smaller. So there we are. All three types of muscle on one nice slide. And I hope that uh, I can convince you that there's no possible way you could ever confuse striated from skeletal from cardiac muscle for the rest of your life. And I thank you very much.